In this video, I'll give you an end-to-end -end demonstration of how the FIGAF tool can work for your SAP PI uh, PO2 integration suite migration. So let's start with understanding the scenario you want to migrate. So here in my landscape, here is the SAP assessment. I have found one scenario here <clears throat> in the category of, of large that needs to be evaluated. If we go to the evaluation here, we can see that this uh, evaluation required will take somewhere between 16 and 40 hours to migrate. And we have 33 of these, a lot of these is anyway test, but let's use this one as an example. If we look at the result in here, we can see that there's a custom UDF li library usage, uh, SOAP adapter, um, an adapter module, SOAP adapter module, ready, it's ready to migrate. There is something here that bonks out, and that is that there's a custom receiver adapter module. I think that is because we have added the, the SAP FIGAF lock module to it. So these bonks out and give us a wrong data that this is not really uh, a problem for migration. Anyway, if we look at the FIGAF, report for this we can see this scenario has two receivers it is soap there's uh, two message mapping one are using function libraries we have that there are some parameters in it one is multi-mapping and we can see file adapters uh, that is soap and i think because we, it is the fgaf adapter module we don't see it here and then we can see the number of messages that has been processed on this, but yeah, that is, yeah, not here. Anyway, this is what we want to do. So let's try to do this in the FIGAF tool. So we will also search for it here. And here we have, we have been using it quite a bit. The first thing we want to do when we are migrating is we want to create some test data. And to do this, uh, and to end demo, we create a test suite for this. We can then either fetch future messages or we can fetch some messages that has already been processed. Here it gives some ideas about whether or not we can process it or not. You can get some ideas about how to fetch these things. Uh, but I have already processed some messages, so let me just create this into a test case. And I will also just give it a name here, this into demo. And now it will record these messages that we already have. We can also fetch the next message that's being processed on it all depends on scenarios, how you want to fetch the messages, etc. So now we can see we got two incoming messages and six outgoing messages. If we just look into the details of these, we can see here we have some incoming messages. And let's just further the sake of it, uh, make a change on the price here. So that we change the price on this one to 999, just so we can see that this would actually affect and this would actually be used in our scenario. Good. We will create this as a test case on our PI system. So we could run this on the PI system if we wanted to, but for now we don't really need that. So we go in here, we select the intern demo. have a time part we can select that it should be using the local processes this is our most advanced one where you can go in and define a gms retry queue where you have an option to only retry messages that actually fails and this is a nice way of ensuring you're not processing everything all the time um, so we'll set that up and now we can see here that it is mapping this um, center adapter to this. Uh, we, here we have our custom templates. It's some, some templates that we have created as a way to ensure everything works. Um, and you can create your own custom template. So here it is from a, a file SFTP to an SFTP uh, in CPI. But the idea is that you can go in and customize these templates so that matches the different scenarios that you have. So if you have a lot of files to is FTP or FTPS, you can just use that template for all those cases. 
we can go in and see here that it is something that is being split. If we wanted to, we can ignore certain areas of this um, and say we do not want to send it to, to this receiver for one another reason. We can see here we have the different cases that we need or different artifacts that's a part of this. Um, for instance, here we have, we can either use uh, migrated. So this is one of the function libraries that exist. We can either use this uh, migrated function library or we can use our own for it. We'll just re reuse the shared artifact. So in the figaf tool, we have a way to keep these objects all the time. So you do not need to uh, reinvent the wheel whenever someone has uh, migrated something for the first time. It will be changed and it will be modified. Next time you can reuse these artifacts um, if they are used multiple times in your landscape. We can see here there's some, some challenges that we need to check, check the, the username, check the content converter, etc. Um, so this is just some warnings as we need to process when we are working with this scenario. I checked it, everything looks good. I can preview and I can see if it generates something that looks like a normal iFlow and this looks okay. We can drill in and see content about these different scenarios if, if we wanted to. We then select migrate and now we have migrated the, the artifacts. So this has created the, the iFlow and here we can see everything. We can see it using a split. It is uh, using two receivers here and if these fail it will then put it into an exception handling queue that will then also use a retry queue this means it can retry specific messages and only messages that is actually failing would be put into this uh, gms queue and this is part of the things that would help you save uh, money on the the queues that is being used because there's no need to put a message on the gms if it is not really needed. Good. Um, but yeah, here we can see the different artifacts. We can see we are setting some different parameters, uh, some binding attributes for this uh, scenario here. Uh, we're setting the own param ind. Um, and here we have the message mapping. We can see it is just standard message mapping. One of the things we do have added is here under pattern name, we have this as a script. So this was originally a function library that we have converted with to Groovy with some changes because it just makes it a lot easier to, to work with these uh, scenarios. Good. Normally I just uh, save and then edit it because there is sometimes some changes in the way processing work we have resolved some of it but a lot of kids it's also a good thing to just test it out you we then deploy this iflow and then we just want to inform figaf that there is a new version of this so figaf keeps versions of or snapshots of the iflow so each time you want to say okay there's something important you inform figaf that there is a, a change it synchronized thesis um you see we got a new object here and this enables us to to keep versionings of these ones okay to do an end-to-end -end migration we can obviously here in the assessment we can then see who when it was migrated and we can see we just had this scenario we don't have any cpi test cases for this and that is obviously a problem because we cannot really deliver something if we do not have a test case for it if we click here on the create test case we can see the one we just created we will select migrate to CPI flow. We'll just add it to the same test suite. You can obviously add it to different test suites, uh, depending on the scenarios. And if you have changed the adapters, you can say, okay, I want to fetch the payloads in here instead of the places that you have selected here. So this also works if you've used the SAP migration tool, you would also be able to use these scenarios here. Then I can click okay. And now I've created a test case and can, I can then open it here and I can run it and we'll just need to license this. Um, dupe, which take a few seconds and then the messages should be sent on this scenario. It obviously requires that you have 
the the iFlow is deployed. Um, if it is, for instance, a file adapter that is using here, you will see file that is being processed, and that is obviously something that will give you some. Um, the way the figaf tool will work is it will create a copy of the iFlow and send the messages into that one. So you will be able to test the full flow end to end without any problems. We can now see the messages that has been processed. Uh, we have not picked the messages yet, and we are getting some errors here. Let's see here the first one here. So the diff here is that it's a timestamp that is different. We can easily go in, click on it, and then ignore it. And then we can process a comparison again, which will then compare the messages, and now we can see it's good. What about these up here? So the problem here is that the, we expected in the PI message we had a net weight of 23, and here in the CPI we now have a weight of 999, but that was because we changed the original payload to reflect this. And this is obviously the case in a lot of scenarios. You need to cha make some changes or you need to create a new test case where you update certain things. So what you can actually do is you can just select it here. You can go in and you can create a new test case based on this. So instead of now expecting this old value, we will expect that this net weight is now 33 um when we're processing this and this is just a simple way to ensure you can reuse the test cases and you can make sure they are always current um, and this just simplifies the the development process i really hope that you enjoyed this video and want to see how you can actually do this on your own system i would say it is not matic it is really <laughs> fairly simple to get started with this. Uh, so we have some installation videos that help you get started. You can see them here uh, where you can see how do you install the VGAF tool and then there's some different video about how you can actually use it for migration and set up and run this migration yourself. It will take you two hours to get through this point and be able to actually migrate a full end-to-end -end scenario. I hope you want to check that out. So thanks for watching and please hit like, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you.